today's video is going to be a little quickie, a little cutie. It's not going to be long, but I just wanted to cover the newest items from Natasha Denona. It's not a new or exciting palette yet. She normally does come out with a Valentine's Day launch palette. I do think we'll be getting that, but for now, we did get a very small kind of random launch for the I Need a Rouge lip collection, which normally I wouldn't do a whole video on or cover a collection so small like this. But in the past, the Natasha Denona lip launches slash lines, I have really loved. So I was low-key excited about this. I like her lip liners, but I love her lipsticks. And in the past, she's launched an I Need a New collection, which phenomenal. Probably the best one she's done. And then over a year ago, she launched I Need a Rose lip collection. Again, those were staples in my routine. Now, this year it's I Need a Rouge, so they are red lipsticks, which is probably not going to end up in my everyday routine. But because I love Natasha Denona's lipstick formula so much, I needed to test these out because she came out with a new lipstick formula, the I Need a Rouge lip stiletto so we're just gonna go ahead and play with them right now they are available on beautylish they launched january 20th you're gonna have to go to her instagram to see all the launch dates because she has a lot of different launch dates for a lot of different countries but you can also pick them up on the natasha denona website right now which is what i did to prep my lips i've had the fourth ray apricot overnight lip mask sitting on my lips this is i love these lip masks and they smell really really nice so i'm gonna wipe actually no we're gonna leave these on while i go over the details so in this collection there were only four products that launched two lip liners and two of the new stiletto lipsticks but there are two different colors so the lipstick and the lip liner are supposed to be paired together and here's what the packaging looks like they just come in very simple red boxes i'm gonna swatch the color gg first so for pricing, each lip liner is $24, and then each lip stiletto is $27. So that's only $3 more for a lipstick. Normally there's a bigger price difference. Here's what the Gigi lip pencil or lip crayon looks like. It has an 18 month shelf life and is made in Italy. This is what it looks like. It is sharpenable, you can't twist it up. I don't find them to be the longest lasting lip liners but they're very creamy and they aren't bad. So this is the GG lip liner, and you can see we have a lot of pigment. Now this is the packaging of the new Rouge Lip Stiletto. It's nice, long, and thin. Now these are supposed to be a long-wearing, high-precision lip stylo in modern red shades. It delivers one stroke color in a lightweight layer of ravishing red that won't bleed or feather. Also an 18 month shelf life and made in Italy. So it is a magnetic closure. It feels really nice. Oh, this is even thinner than I thought. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more chunky, but it's not, it's very, very thin. I like that because guys, I have small lips. So <laughs> thanks my small lip people will appreciate it. Wow, that's a lot of, that's a lot of pigment for one swipe. And you can see it was a really thin swatch because of how Thin the applicator is. Ooh, that's pretty. And it kind of has like a luminous cream finish here. It says it's a matte luminous finish online, which doesn't really exist, does it? But we'll see on the lips how it looks. Now let's see how Amelia compares. And you can buy the color that you like in a set. It will save you about $6. So instead of being $51 altogether, you can get the set for $45. So that's what I ended up doing. I bought both of the bundles, so I saved a little bit of money. So the Amelia packaging, am I crazy or is it a little darker? Yes, the Amelia is a little darker, so let's see. Here's the lip liner. You can see it's really, really smooth. And Amelia lipstick, which definitely has more depth, a little bit more berryness to it compared to Gigi. But we'll see if they differ on the lips from one another. So I'm going to get the mask off of my lips. And we're going in with Gigi, which is the lighter shade. 
See, a really lovely, smooth application. Like I said, I do like her lip liners. This is a formula I'm very familiar with. Oops, a little too slippery there. <laughs> That'll do for now. I know it looks weird, but I wanna see how the lipstick applies. But like I said, not the longest wearing. I would say Pat McGrath lasts longer, but this is very, very creamy. It's still a very good lip liner. And let's get into this lip stylo. So let's see how one swipe does. She wasn't kidding when she said, one swipe application gives you full impact right away. Literally. I need you to all ignore the tragedy that is this upper lip. <laughs> and just look at this red, it is so pretty. Now the feeling of the lipstick, it is not like the Natasha Denona lipsticks that I'm used to. It's a little bit harder, but it's still not hard. It glides across the lips easily, but it does feel more matte on the lips. It actually feels like it's definitely going to last longer, and I don't mind that in a red lipstick. Normal Natasha Denona lipsticks are very, very creamy. They're so creamy that you, if you leave them in a warm environment, they'll kind of melt a little bit. I don't think this one is going to do that. It's definitely harder, and it feels matte on the lips, but you can see it's not completely matte. It's not drying out my lips so much, but it doesn't feel as creamy as the regular bullet form lipsticks. But it's one swipe pigment, and I actually really like this formula for the red lipstick, so I can see why she did that. Let me get this off, and we'll go into Amelia. All right, so this one's gonna be a little deeper. I almost feel like this formula is too smooth for such a dark lip pencil, because I'm like losing control as I'm trying to apply this. But that's totally user error. This definitely has a little bit more of a pinky tone to it, almost berry-like, and less red. Okay, let's see the lip stiletto now. One swipe, baby. So easy. I am looking like a clown. I am not good at applying <laughs> red lip liner, holy. Oh yeah, this one definitely has some more berryness to it. So this one is Amelia. I would say for myself, I think I prefer Gigi, but I'm going to take Amelia off my top lip and we'll put Gigi over top to really see the difference. So, but here's the last look at Amelia. This is Gigi. And Gigi lipstick. Gigi on top, Amelia's on bottom. I definitely would say you don't need both. They do look pretty similar for you to be spending so much money. Gigi's definitely more bright. Amelia has some more berryness to it, a little bit more depth. I think I'm gonna go with Gigi today for wear test, but yeah, I feel like they're a little close, different undertones, but that can make a big difference depending on your skin tone. So I'm just gonna take this off and do a serious application of Gigi and I'll be out to give you guys my final thoughts. All right, so here is a Gigi with actual care put into the application. Let's check the transfer on the back of the hand. There's definitely gonna be transfer. This doesn't feel like it's set down, but let's see. Oh yeah, we definitely get some transfer, so keep that in mind when you're drinking your drinks. But I do want to do a little bit of a wear test on this, so I'm going to drink and eat and see what happens, and I will update you. I just wanted to share, this is where the lipstick is at about two and a half hours later. I did eat snacks, not a whole meal, I was careful. But I did eat some snacks and it's looking really good. You can tell the thickness has worn off on the lips. This is kind of the underlayer and it looks beautiful. Okay, not bad. Let's see you transfer now. So my hand looks, okay, we'll use the other hand. Oh, oh okay. A little bit of transfer, but a lot less than before. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this little mini review of the newest lip launch from Natasha Denona. Though, 
face value might not seem that exciting. I love Natasha Denona lip products, so I have to do this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. What are you expecting to come out for Natasha Denona's Valentine's Day launch? I'm excited to see what it is. And yeah, if you haven't liked my video yet or subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys do that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.